here's a quick tutorial on how to run the molecular shapes FET simulation. So when you click on the link, this window comes up, you're going to click on model to start and it has a um, molecule already drawn. If you do not want to start with that, you click on this little X up here in the right hand corner and it will take those bonds away. To add a single bond, you just click on the single bond up here and drag it into the molecule. You can also drag the molecule around like this. Um, so you can see and notice each time you add a bond, um, whether it's a single bond or a double bond, the molecule adjusts automatically to um, accommodate for the shape based on the Vesper theory. So Vesper theory says these valence shell um, electron pairs are repelling each other. So as we add another bond, those bonds repel each other and push the other ones out of the way. Um, when you want to get rid of a bond, you can just click on the X up here on the corner. You can also add a lone pair of electrons, which also will adjust the shape. Um, another piece of the simulation that you'll want is in the bottom left. So the one that says molecular geometry, you'll click that. And based on your shape, or sorry, based on your drawing, um, this site will tell you what shape that molecule is and that you'll include on your drawing, um, the sheet of paper that you're creating these molecules on. And then you're going to take a picture and submit that picture into um, Schoology on Sunday night. One other thing that I will show you is kind of down here on the bottom, if I can get to it. Let me minimize my screen a little bit. Um, it has this real molecules tab. And so once you click on real molecules, you have a drop down menu over here. So some of these molecules you drew for your assignment. So now you can go back and check your answers. You can check to make sure your molecular geometry is correct and the type of bonds is correct. And this, again, you can move the molecule around. So um, you can also show bond angles if you want. Um, but really, you want lone pairs and the molecular geometry are the two things that you'll want from this simulation. So hopefully that helps. Happy building.